Johnny, a 5-1 victory today in the Football Nation Qualifying Cup against your former club Haddington Athletic. Yeah. How are you feeling right now? I'm delighted. Great performance, I thought. Um, took us a, well, to be fair, we did start the game pretty well, but seems to be just the regular thing that we give teams a, a goal ahead head start. Obviously, concentration could have been better for our point of view. And, that, and, and what I mean by that, not just the goalkeeper, maybe somebody standing over the ball and not allowing them to take that free kick before we're set up. Obviously, Tam, Tam knows he certainly should do better with that, but the big man's been great for us this season. He's made some big saves, and when he makes mistakes, it's up to the team to kind of bail him out, and they did do that. They, they played really well. Really good moments in the game where we were right on top, and. Um, we won 5 1, pretty convincing, and I, I think we could have scored a few more goals come the end of the game because our fitness was really telling at that point, and we were we were so far on top of Haddington at the end of the game that I'm kind of frustrated that we didn't go and take more goals. But hey, delighted with the performance, delighted with the result, and, and just delighted with the overall attitude of my players. And does it underline the strength we have as well that it was two of the substitutes that came on and got three of the goals? Yeah, um, I've just said that in the dressing room, I've got 20 signed players. Um, Two injured today, so the, that that made up the, the mind with the team. So we had 18 within the squad. But see the attitude of every single player, and I'm, I'm, I'm I'll, as long as they're, they're okay on a Saturday, they can chat my door on a Tuesday. But their attitude today, they were right behind the players, and everybody done what was asked of them. Do you know? And um, we have got a right good team spirit. We need to capitalise on it. For me, I think we really need to kind of push each other this season. So that means if boys are on the bench, they need to come on the park and show that they're capable of starting, and that just makes sure everybody's kept on their toes. And do you know? That's what happened today. Obviously, Nikos came on and, and scored two, two cracking goals. Um, so, nah, it was it was really really good. And you mentioned Nico getting his two goals as well, and Sam was also pleasing at Weber got another goal as well. Yeah, last year I think we kind of lacked goals for midfield. Um, obviously, Louis got two in his last two games. Sam's got two in his last two games. Do you know, Sam coming on the day was terrific as well, and that's what I've just touched on it with Nico coming on and kind of putting pressure on players. But there's Sam coming on and putting pressure on the midfielders. Aaron coming on and putting pressure on the midfielders. Um, so nah, really, I can't I can't compliment the boys enough. Do you know, but. The one thing that we do need to tighten up in is we need to be more concentrated for the start and make sure we don't give teams a, a goal ahead start. It'll be good to see how we how we do when we, we score the first goal. And we've got Coldstream here next week. What's your thoughts going into that one? We just, we just, well, it doesn't matter who we play do you know, we'll prepare as we, we always do. We'll take it professional, we'll, we'll do a wee bit of due diligence on the, the opposition um, and we'll, we'll just we'll take it, we'll be prepared and we'll be ready to go again next Saturday. And um, just a final one, would you score Nico's goals? Um, maybe when I was 18, certainly not in my latter stages of my career, but nah. I thought I, I, the boys were actually joking, it was like they was play, pressing, is it R2? I, I don't play FIFA, R2 or L2 or whatever in FIFA, he was just off, so nah, well done to Nico, two great goals. Thank you, Johnny.